guys and welcome back to my channel so today I have a fun video for you I'm already dying um, today if you could tell by the title I am going to be doing another story time it has been a minute since I've done a story time it's been like I don't even know maybe over a year since I've done a story time so I thought I would come and share another story time with you guys so before we get into this video if you guys are new to my channel welcome please subscribe and let's get into it okay guys <laughs> okay so all of these stories if I ever do a lot of story times a lot of these stories have to do when I was like dating men um, if you guys want or care for it or like whatever to know like my story about going from dating men into women let me know but if you don't care then girl we could keep it moving so okay so this is the time I, don't, I can't even remember how long ago this was this is probably like this was obviously like several several years ago and I met this guy at a party I can't remember what party it was I don't even know but I met this guy at a party and at this time in my life like I just wanted to be loved I just wanted to have a boyfriend like I just wanted to be with somebody at this point point. and so you know when you go through those stages of stages of life where like the first person that you look at is like all of like you are like attracted to them and like whatever that's kind of like the phase that I was going through so this guy approached me and he didn't he wasn't bad looking like he wasn't a bad looking guy and I hadn't been on like really dates in a while so I'm like ah why not like you don't you know you don't know what could happen don't knock it so we decided I don't even know when we decided honestly it was so long ago but I remember we finally went out for our date now mind you when you are in the club and you are bumping and grinding and moving having a good time you ain't really looking like you're really seeing you're intoxicated it's dark it's smoky like a lot's happening that you don't you know you don't really see the person my thing is if you're taking somebody out on a date first date whether or not you know it's a same sex relationship um, heterosexual relationship whatever if you ask somebody out on a date you better, if you have a car, you better go and pick that person up, okay? You want to have a good first impression. Well, this guy didn't. So I had to meet him at um, Kipling Station. So Kipling Station is like at the very end of the subway line going west. So I, and that takes about, from the subway, it takes about 30 minutes to get there. So I had to meet him at Kipling because he was coming from Brampton. <laughs> so I was like, you know what, whatever, fine, let's just, like, go, like, that's fine. And I find that people who live, like, in Brampton, Mississauga, like, places like that, don't ever want to come downtown, don't ever want to do anything downtown. Oh, it's too expensive. Oh, the parking. Oh, the this. Oh, the that. It's always something so that's what it was with him he had like all the excuses under the sun so I was like you know what? whatever it's fine I'll compromise I'll meet you halfway because from like Brampton to Mississauga is like 30 minutes and from Toronto to Mississauga is like 30 minutes so you know it was an even compromise I didn't mind at this point I kind of forgot what this guy looked like <laughs> I kind of forgot what this guy looked like I was like I was it was kind of like I was going on a blind date so I meet him at Kipling station he picks me up and I'm thinking this guy has like a plan he, you know, has something in mind that he wants to do. So we get there, and I don't even know for how long, but we were, like, deciding on what we should do. Like, he didn't know what to do. He was undecisive. So we decided to go bowling. And there was, like, a little bowling area that was, like, close to the subway station. So I was like, oh, okay, so it's close to the subway station. So if I need to leave or I'm uncomfortable or whatever, I'll navigate my way and find my way to the subway station and dip. We go bowling. And so we're bowling and bowling. And <laughs> I'm dying because the way this guy was dressed, I was just like, no, we're not doing this today. Everything that he was wearing was so tight. Like, not, it was just, ugh, it just wasn't even cute. So I was like, okay, whatever. Then we get to the bowling alley, and I notice a little rat tail <laughs> in the back of his head. 
a little freaking ratchet. I'm thinking to myself, what, what, in what era are we in? Are we back in the 80s? Like, what is going on? The man had a rat tail, one little piece of braid at the back of his head that had beads attached to it. Girl, I was like, okay. Okay, what, what am I getting myself into? The man, I don't even know what he was trying to do, but he did not, it was clear, like now that I think about it, that he did not have money to take me on a freaking date. Like he was trying to finesse, to try to get the bowling shoes, and then, but he wanted to impress me. And it was just like a mess, but I could see that like, this guy like was either cheap or just didn't have any money. So whatever, we get the bowling shoes, we start bowling, and guess who walks in? Just my freaking luck. At a place where I'm thinking no one's gonna see me, no one's gonna find me, like all is good and gravy. Who walks in? This guy I used to date. Like when I tell you this guy, like nice car, like designer clothes, okay, not like, that doesn't matter to me now, but like he was just up, you know what I mean? Like he had it, he was good, like, mm. Okay, he, you know what I'm saying, you know what I mean. The man walks in with his friends. I was shook because I'm like this good looking guy that I did, I think at the time, you know, you, you know you were dating multiple people, so like I think I was dating him at the same time. I don't even know, I can't even remember. But he walks into the bowling alley. I'm like, out of all bowling alleys to be at, like out of all bowling alleys to be at, you happen to be at the one that I'm at with this man. So I, it was so awkward. Like it was so awkward. It ruined the vibe for me. I actually, the vibe was already like not even there for me anyways. But I kind of was just like being polite and just being really nice. I don't even know how long we were there. But he was like, you don't want to bowl. Like you don't want, and he was trying to like put his arm around me. He was trying to like come close to me. He was doing the most and I was not about it like I was not about it I was just like you better not all right this is my reputation <laughs> don't tarnish it boy don't put your arms around me okay so at this point I'm just like okay I need to figure out a way for us to get the hell out of here like whatever so I'm like oh like okay let's just go now like let's go you know out to eat and whatever first date you asked me on a date, so I'm thinking, like, you know, we're gonna go out for dinner because that's what he said. He's like, let's go out and do something, and then we go out for dinner or whatever. So we end up leaving, and he's like, oh, um, so where do you wanna go to eat? So I'm just thinking to myself, bruh, you're taking me out on a date, you don't have any plans, you don't know what you wanna do, you don't know, like, anything, like, what is going on here? Like, this is, like, I have to make all the plans? Like, I did not ask you out on a date, you asked me out on a date. I couldn't stop looking at the goddamn rat tail in the back of his head. I didn't know why he had that rat tail. I didn't know what was going on. So around there, there's like a Wendy's or whatever. So I was like, I don't know. Like I was trying to coax him into like saying, okay, like, you know, let's go to a restaurant or something like that. The man said, there's a burger, there's a Wendy's down the street. I'll buy you Wendy's. <laughs> I was like, wow. I was like, wow. So I was like, you know what? I was hungry, okay? So I let the man buy me the Wendy's. And at this point, I'm just like, I need to go the fuck home. Like, I need to go home. And I think he could tell that, like, I was not having a good time. I was not vibing with the situation. I wasn't having a good... Like, it just wasn't the vibes for me. And he kept asking, like, are you good? Are you okay? Like, what's going on? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, he's like, are you having a good time? And I was just like, yeah, like, whatever. You know, whatever. Like, I wasn't, I wasn't having a good time at all so then my man buys me the the bird the wendy's i was like okay like i'm trying to remember if like we sat in the car in the parking lot of wendy's and ate the burger king uh i keep saying burger king the wendy's or we left i think we sat and we ate the wendy's in his car in the parking lot like <sighs> <laughs> yeah, I was so over it. Uh, so then I was like, okay, like, at this point I'm just like, okay, pretty much bring me to the station and let's go. So he's like, oh, like, the date's over, like, what? Like, nah, like, let's have a good time, like, like, you know what I mean? Like, let's do something else or whatever. I was like, fine, like, maybe, like, he probably realized that he messed up or he wasn't, you know, being a gentleman or he was, I don't even know. So maybe he was trying to, like, reprieve himself. I don't know. My man is like... I'm, just, I'm gonna take you somewhere and I was like okay cool like you know this is what happens when you're fucking young when you are young oh my this is how situations happen this is how people get kidnapped this is how people get raped sexually assaulted like 
thank God none of that happened to me, but like, what the hell was I thinking? So I'm like, okay. So I'm thinking, you know, I'm trying to remember if we agreed. See, it was so long ago. I'm trying to remember if we agreed to go somewhere and I was aware or not. Oh, yes. Oh, it's coming. It's hitting me clearly now. Okay, it's getting clear. It's getting clearer. Oh my God, so long ago. I remember we were supposed to go back downtown because I think we were going to go to a party or we we're going to do something. Um, So I was like, okay, let's go back downtown because I'm familiar with downtown. I live downtown. Like, if I need to cut, I'm out. So he's like, yeah, okay, cool. Let's go back down, let's go. So we're driving on the highway. Now mind you, I don't drive. So at this point, like I was, I didn't know my bearings on the highway. Now, even though I don't drive, I know my bearings around the highway. I know how to get to the highway. I know which way is which. I know when I'm going somewhere that I'm not familiar with or that I am, or like I'm coming back downtown. Like I, I know my way on the highway even though I don't drive. So we're driving and I notice we've been driving for quite some time and we're we're not we're I don't I don't see the CN Tower, I don't see the hustle and bustle of downtown. Where the hell are we going? So the man tells me we are going to Brampton. I nearly lost my fucking mind. I nearly lost my goddamn mind. So I'm like to him why are we going to Brampton? We're supposed to be going back downtown. Like, why are we going to Brampton? He's like, oh, I need to go home and, like, change. Like, I need to go home and change if we're going to go out. Like, I need to go home and change, and then we will we'll leave. So I was fucking pissed at this point. Like, I was so pissed at this point because you could have told me that, hey, is it okay if, you know, I go to my house quickly and change up quickly so we can come back downtown and we can go party. And I probably would have said, yes, no, who the hell knows? But you didn't tell me anything. You just took me, drove to Brampton, and then told me when we're practically in Brampton that we're in Brampton. That, what? I was so mad. So we get to his house. So, and I might, and I remember it was winter. It was winter at this time. He's like, okay, I'm, we're here. I'm just gonna go and like get changed quickly. So I'm like, okay. So I'm sitting in the car because I'm thinking like, okay, I'm sitting in the car. I'll wait for you in the car. I don't mind. You go get changed quickly and we, and we go. So he's like, no, nah, like I don't want you to stay in the car. Like that's dumb. Like just come inside. The signs, the signs. Hmm. So I was just like, Okay, fine, like whatever. Yeah, it is it is cold. It's like winter time, like like the heat's not on the car, like okay, that's what I'm thinking in my head. So whatever we get out and we go to, we go into his apartment. I'm like, oh yeah, like your place. He was living like in a basement apartment um above somebody's house. So I was like, oh, this is like really cute, really nice. Like it was a really nice spot that he lived in. So I'm there standing at the door, like waiting, and he's just like, come, like sit down, like have a seat, like whatever. So I'm like, okay, so I sit down and I don't really see him like going to his room, trying to change his clothes, do any of that. So I'm like, what the hell is going on? So then he's like, oh, do you want a drink? So I'm like, no, like, I don't want a drink. Like, let's go. Like, we're supposed to be going back downtown to go out, blah, 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 blah. So he was doing everything under the sun to, like, keep me in the house. So he was trying to offer me a drink. Let's watch a movie. When that wasn't working, he tried to like flirty and like trying to like come on to me. Not aggressively, not in like in an assaulting or like any type of aggression or anything. He was just trying to make his moves and thought that by him bringing me to his house that I would have sex with him. So once I realized that what he was trying to do, I literally lost it on him I was like you better take me the home like take me home now like what do you think you're doing blah 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 like I railed him up in the house and he got shook he's like yo what no like I'm not trying to do that like oh my god no 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 I wasn't trying to do that what he's like all right all right let's just go let's go let's go like he was actually shook at the thought that I thought that he may like rape me or that he may like keep me hostage like he was actually more shook than I was so he's like yo let's just go let's let's go let's go so he took me in the car he's like yo I'm so sorry I'm so sorry like that was wrong of me I shouldn't have done that blah 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 like, so wrong. I'm like yo take me the fuck home I was so mad I was so mad that this guy 
thought it was okay. Not tell me where he was taking me. Bring me to his house in the attempts of him trying to have sex with me. I was so angry. I was so angry because I'm like, what? So that was your intentions this whole time. Your intentions was try to what? And you think what? You coming with your tight ass clothes and your rat tail and you, be, you being so cheap taking me to Wendy's you think I'm gonna give it up? Man's really thought I was gonna give it up. So, <laughs> so yeah, so he dropped me home and that was the end of it. Like I never talked to the man again. Like he tried following me a few times on Instagram, follow me, then unfollow me, follow me, and, and then unfollow me. And I was just like, what are you doing? Like I don't talk to you, I don't like you, like don't follow me. And I think he just like eventually, in his mind, got the hint and just ended up leaving me alone. So yeah, that's like pretty much it of the story of the boy with the rat tail. I've had so many experiences dating men, good, bad, funny, indifferent, that like, I just need to share them. Now that I'm in a different space in my life, and I'm happy, and I'm doing what I need to do, I need to share these experiences with you guys, because I know that there are some of you ladies who are going through the same thing right now, trying to find, you know, love and trying to be accommodating to situations where you don't need to be accommodating to it was like a scary but like now that i look about it look back at it funny time because what had me dead was the rat tail like what are you doing with a fucking rat tail like that just took me out that just took me all the way out once i saw the rat tail i was done the lesson in all of this for me was girl make sure when you go on a date that you have money so that if you are uncomfortable or you want to get out of there you can hop yourself in a car in a cab because at the time there was no uber it was cabs or now in an uber and you just go your merry way home or you go to your friends or you go to the party or find something else to do instead of being in that situation so yeah guys that is the time of the guy that I dated with the rat tail girl so if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a like comment and subscribe also let me know if you like or even comment if you want to see more story times because I have a million and one story times so many story times so if you guys want to hear some of the my stories then let me know but yeah guys I hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you guys in my next video Mwah. bye guys